Hello, brothers and sisters of the world. Are you still with me? Oh, I hope so. I am about to change your life and the lives of your children for the better, forever, with my hard-earned health understanding. Thank God for my life and thank God for your life. Without you, I'd have no one to tell. Without me, I wouldn't have discovered it. So, I'm extremely thankful for this moment and for your patronage to my postings, as well as your focus on accepting what is and just simply making steps towards world peace. Because we, as responsible human beings and civilized people in 2022, we just want peace. So let's just do that. <laughs> now, the information I'm about to give you is going to be divinitive in your life. You are going to understand it in, intelligently, intuitionally, and practically. And it's going to be simple, and basic, and so incredibly doable. And since it's nature, it's guaranteed to work. And if the children understand that and apply it immediately, well, they don't got to wait for nature to repair them. They'll just have it. So instantly, nature will make sure that whole generation is way healthier because they're doing this. Because they're doing this. It's a big claim. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to get it and they're going to get it. And it's just going to make perfect sense. And what it feels like to me is the missing link of our health understanding. So once I give it to you, you get it. You're going to get your own intuitional feelings. And I know. And regardless, once you get it, you got it. And you need to follow it. And once you do, everything I say right now that sounds like expansive and whatever else I'm going to say, you'll completely be in the clear. And it is completely in my understanding this will protect our children from mental, physical, and spiritual suffering as we understand it today. You don't believe me? Hopefully you do. If you don't, it's okay. I really believe everything I'm saying to you. And I know the difference. So I'm going to give it to you right now. I do have an issue with over-talking. I do have to do this in one take because I can't edit. However, I feel like it could be of most use to you if I give you some point form kind of talking and just let you take your own mental journey. Because in hearing this, you need to understand people are individuals with characteristics. Humans are a species with traits. And I am not going to be talking about the details of your diet, but I am going to be discussing nature's requirements for you as a human being. And once you hear this out, to the end, you'll want to do it too and you'll be instantly improving your life. Now, it's my understanding that the adults that were living for so long without this understanding, well, they need to do some repairing. Even if it was like they didn't realize the difference because I am completely on the understanding this is very new information to a lot of people. But if you don't know the difference, you can't do it. But I feel like there's a lot of people that if they were conscious of it, they would just do it. So, but anyway, if you're an adult and you lived your life without it, well, this is going to repair you and clear you out and help you in that way, right? But if you're a child, well, it's just going to protect you and it's going to allow nature to take care of you. So I'm going to start with some point form stuff. Thank God for this moment. And thank you for believing in me. 
I believe in you. If you've been following the journey, I may have to repeat myself a little bit because I want this video to be complete. Modernly, we understand that trees on one side of the world do not look like trees on the other side, and they also have different requirements from nature. The same can be said about the animals and the insects and the soil. So, not the humans. The humans need the exact same things on the inside. And over a course of a very extremely long time, we have got over a lot of mental suffering about this person doesn't look like me, this person doesn't look like me. And we're all pretty much over that at this point. So we have to remember all the mental sufferings that we've got over so that we can continue to get over them because we're definitely not at world peace by any stretch of the imagination. But I hope this helps. So we know that. Humans have conscious choice. And it's very much so also in our eating and our consumption. So in that, as the living human, it is your responsibility throughout your life to give yourself these things that I'm going to explain. And once I do, and you do that, you are fulfilling your positive, conscious eating intent for your body, right? You're taking the best care you can of your body. And that earns things for you as the human with conscious choice. I don't know what it'll learn for you because I'm not you. I only know what it did for me. And so a bear is not going to eat bunny food and a bunny is not going to eat bear food because they don't have conscious choice. They just eat what they're designed to eat. And it also seems in my understanding that if that bear and that bunny were side by side and they were not hungry, they very well may play. However, if that bear is hungry, he will eat that bunny because he doesn't have conscious choice. So to expand on that just for a second, perhaps if that bear was playing because he was not hungry and became hungry, he may well, very well then just eat that bunny. So play with him and then eat him because it's not a conscious choice. So I think it, you see where I'm going with that. So humans have that and we have, so therefore it's extremely important that we understand the, the broad health understanding of it so that we can apply it. And I, I, I know that it's not understood at this point but I do understand it. I'm gonna give it to you in a way that um, we'll all understand. Thank you all for learning and respecting the English language. It's definitely helping me reach more humans with this. I love you all. It's about the males. And this is what I mean by that. You need to make your own babies inside yourself. I'm going to expand on it. This is what I mean by that. The baby is your enzyme. If you give your body the right things, so you yourself as an individual take on that responsibility and give your body that, your body will naturally make your own enzymes. That is your true health. Is when you eat the right foods to develop your own enzymes naturally through your food. That is what nature wants. And when you can actually do that, you get a great degree of clarity, acceptance, and everything around you changes because you click that link yourself with food 
that does mean you're going to have to avoid the wrong foods, but you don't have to quit them cold turkey. But again, that's where feeding the children differently can really help them avoid a lot of the same problems we have now due to the lack of protection of our market getting flooded by bullshit products. So the average person is eating bullshit products without really realizing it because we're not being protected from that and we're in the middle of a pandemic. So I don't really talk too much more about that because I want this to be positive, but it is very much so a factor. So now you can see. And when you click your link, guess what happens? When you click that link yourself naturally because you're strong enough to do that, you become the bear and the bunny. And you are not going to eat the wrong things because you've actually been firm enough to do that for yourself. And it's like a world changing epiphany because the clarity is there and a lot of extra body weight goes because your body can now properly get rid of the waste. Why? When you first feel hungry in the morning, your body's asking for nature's requirements. If you don't give it to it, about two hours later, it's going to ask for the same thing. If you don't know this health understanding and you're not doing it, then it's just going to keep asking for the same things. You're not going to give it to it. You're going to keep eating. You're going to keep, you know, it's just the nature of it. But when you click the links, you're eating the right foods and you're going to be amazed by how little you need to eat because of the quality of the food and the fact that you're making your own links. So everything changes. Your, your concept of illness is completely different. I don't remember the last time I've been sick. Well, sometimes I feel like I'm going to get sick. I go to sleep for like five hours. I get up, it's gone. And that makes perfect sense to you because I'm clinking my own links, right? It's that enzyme. The enzyme is making your own baby, basically. And when you can make your own babies with all your food, the only food you need is the food that's assisting you in clinking those links. Because once you eat those foods, you're not really hungry in the in-between. And there is a good amount of them that you need, but not a difficult amount. But there is a good amount where you should be including them throughout the day. And when you do, well, you don't even want those other foods. Because you're not hungry. And you don't want to overeat. And you know there's more food there. And you, it's different because you can just remain calm about it. And you can just eat when you're supposed to and not overeat. And in the evening when you're not supposed to eat, you drink a lot of water or whatever, you get through it. And in the morning when you keep going, your body will appreciate it because you're doing the proper thing for it as a human being. So in that, you can see how it's not about your specific food, but you do need to know generally how that works. And I'm going to give you what I mean by the missing link right now. A lot of people know about the vitamins, right? And you do get a lot of your vitamins from your vegetables and stuff. And additionally, like... Cats, when they're in the wild and they're eating, they get moisture from mice and stuff. So you need to make sure there's moisture in the food. Well, humans need that too, because when we're eating in our natural habitat, we get a lot of moisture from our, uh, our vegetables, right? And we need to take that in. So, and we know that something to know is you can get a lot of different vitamins from a little bit of vegetables because one vegetable doesn't only have one vitamin in it. They have a bunch of them, right? So it's not all that hard to do once you just make sure you include them all the time. This is the missing link. The minerals are like the males. The vitamin needs to be fertilized by the mineral. That's how I want you to think about it. And right now, society has a lot of vitamins, understanding. And what we don't know is our minerals. And what the minerals act as is the fertilization for those vitamins. So if you're not giving it the male and the female, it's not developing its own enzyme. I believe that could be why the medical field leads so much towards 
supplying people with like insulin, which it would be like the enzyme, right? Because we're more or less looking at you know, the enzyme. But if we focus on making sure that our children know that they have to eat the vitamin, almost like the egg and the mineral, almost like the fertilizer, then they make their own enzymes and they say clear. So how do you know and how do you apply it? I'm glad you asked. This is what I feel would be most useful to put out at this time. And what I mean by that is, I don't expect this to go from not happening at all to being like this big wave of everybody having to do it. But I do know that there's people out there that will appreciate the logistics and the divinity of that information intuitionally, practically, and intelligently. So anybody that can start to apply it will be helping their children. That's not my rule. That's nature. And so I want to be able to give you a really basic understanding in this particular video. I do actually respect my own information to a degree where I'm not willing to give you it all just for free. But I know how important this could be. So I have to. It's not up to me. Um, so this is how you want to kind of work it out. I don't know what you're doing now. I'm only talking to you very openly about nature's requirements for you as a human being. And I do know it's difficult. I do know that the vitamin that the doctor suggests is going to help you in making sure you get those things done. But again, I'm pretty sure what you're missing is your minerals and your mineral understanding. And then you'll just make your own enzymes. Um, you want to know that your minerals being like males, the same mineral can fertilize several vitamins. So in that, you do need a lot of vitamins and they all need to be fertilized. But you don't need a wide range of minerals included. You just have to make sure the important ones are there. And if a particular one is included in a meal, well, it's not like that one mineral is like just going to go. It's going to be in there and they don't have to be in there all the time, but they have to be replenished roughly every 24, 36 hours. So if you take in your minerals regularly throughout the week, they'll be there to fertilize as you kind of pound yourself with vegetables and whatever else you're going to eat. And I mean, if you're now in all seriousness, if you are a meat eater, I respect you as a meat eater. We need people eating meat. We can't have everybody quitting meat. But anyway, um, again, I advise you to check out my uh, responsible meat eating video. It's very sincere. And in that, you can see that in proper portion, without dependency on it, still drinking lots of water, you can safely eat it. So, in incorporating it in for your children, you want to make sure that you revitalize their minerals every about 36 hours. So what that means is, like, for a quick example, the product wheat germ. Wheat germ has a lot of the essential minerals that can activate a lot of the vitamins. And again, if it goes into your diet, it's not like uh, you eat it on Monday, so Tuesday it's not there for you. But come Wednesday and Thursday, it might not be there for you. That's how the minerals work. So you don't have to necessarily pound yourself with minerals. But again, if you can take this seriously and you want to just apply something really strong for yourself just right off the gate, include your minerals once every day. Make sure you get your minerals once every day. Wheat germ is a good suggestion because if you eat eggs, you can put wheat germ in your eggs. That's how my son gets it from me. As I put wheat germ in his eggs with almond milk, the almond milk has B12 and a bunch of good things in it too. And it's nuts, it's almonds with the wheat germ, but he's eating eggs. And then he can have bacon with it, turkey bacon, right? Because he's already getting the minerals and the almond milk in his eggs. And you can eat meat, just smart. Birds are safer. I don't care that he eats turkey bacon. I don't have any feelings about that. 
So you can see where I'm going with that. You know about your vitamins. You need to eat them through your vegetables. So now that you know that you're trying to give yourself the males and the females so you can make your own baby enzymes kind of things, right? Now you know that. You make sure that your children include the minerals and the vitamins but make their own enzymes. Now, what that also means is when you do eat junk food, which you can, you're not going to want as much for one, but the stuff that you do eat, your body is going to have no problem with storing that or it's just going to get rid of it. So you're going to eat it and you're going to enjoy it. But since your body is already forming its own enzymes, it doesn't have to hold on to any garbage and it just flushes it because it trusts you. And this, this is one of the things that I'm excited to share with you. This is something I'm excited to share with you. This is from my efforts with all of this. Just give me a second to word it, right? Because I'm trying to get this in a single take. Okay. Trust. Trust is very important, right? Now, similarly to like when you eat something really cold, the roof of your mouth gets really cold, your brain thinks it's going to freeze to death, and that's what a brain freeze is about. As a quick example. Well, if you don't know the vitamin mineral thing that I just told you, and you're not doing that for your body, it doesn't really matter to your body because your body didn't decide the rules either. It still needs what it needs and we're still not giving it to it generally. So in that, we continue to have health issues. But if we just apply that, nature will naturally eliminate or majorly decrease a lot of our illness for our children compared to what we have now because they're making their own enzymes. So, back to the trust thing. I know I jump around a little bit. When you wake up in the morning and your body starts asking you for specific things and you don't give it to it and it starts storing food and that goes on for a long time and you keep storing food and not giving it what it needs, what happens is your body doesn't trust you to feed it properly. And that's why it's bulking up because it thinks it's going to starve to death. It doesn't think it's going to starve to death because you're not eating. It's because of what you're eating. It's not what it needs. So no matter how you feel about it on your tongue. It's not what it needs. So you can eat whatever you want and you have conscious choice. But I'm hoping you can take this seriously for the sake of your own health. Now, here's the beautiful part. When you do apply it and you do have your own vitamins, minerals and make your own enzymes, your body trusts you to feed it properly like a human being. And once you do, it has no problem getting rid of that chocolate bar and that chips. You're not going to even want it as much. And when you eat it, there's no guilt. You don't have to worry about fighting temptation. You don't even have to worry about quitting it. You just have to eat responsibly. And it'll just correct itself. Bowel issues, Circulation issues, all that stuff. Because when you're making your own enzymes, there's no room for that. You don't want it. It's not the same in your mouth. And the quality of your thoughts, even when you're in complete turmoil, your health efforts save you so much stress and your health efforts allow you to trust you 
to just be peaceful and you. And you can because you're just a bird in a tree. Singing your song in whatever language you sing with whoever wants to hear it. And that is the health understanding that we're missing is to create your own enzyme by including your minerals. There's other places you get minerals like grain breads and nuts and different things. Something to keep in mind is not enough protein leads to inefficiency, but that's not all that common. It does lead to health issues that are very easy to detect through medical procedures. However, too much protein is deficiency and that has much more hazardous ripples for you and some of them are very difficult for the medical field to detect with the way that they know to do it as of now in reference to protein deficiency. And I think that could be a very significant detail to helping correct a lot of the protein issue. Because our issue with protein, from my understanding, is the same as our issue with caffeine and sugar. It's too much. It's not that you have to get rid of it. It's just too much of it. Same with the caffeine. You're never going to get rid of it. It's too much of it. And this is exactly what we're supposed to be getting protected from. Additionally, we know there's hormones in a lot of the fast food. And we know that it's harmed a lot of people on our side of the world. <laughs> and, you know, I hope that we can take that seriously. But I know people are going to eat what they're going to eat. But we know that this is doing it to us. And I really don't think that we should be popping these restaurants up all over the place, all over the world. It's going to do the same thing to their people as doing to our people. Why is it okay that it's doing it to our people? Our hormones are fucked. And it's like, now they are. Because it's been about 20 years of normalizing eating it. You have to see that. You have to see that it's not that you sat down and ate Burger King today and tomorrow you were having health issues. It's that it's been normalized to eat that kind of food to a degree where before that time, like say 40 years ago, to eat at home was normal and to eat out was a treat. And there was a lot less health problems. And now it's switched. Most people are eating out all the time and hardly ever eating at home. And home meals are the treat now. And it has to get reversed for the sake of our children's health. That's not my rule. That's nature. And I can't say anything else because that's I follow nature. And so I don't know to what degree you'll be able to uphold this information. And if I had opportunity... I would want to help correct things practically and reasonably. But I know that nobody really knows who I am. And in my current state, it's really difficult for me to grasp that anybody would allow me to do something like that. On top of the fact that I don't even have anybody really that seems to be taking to my information locally. So... But with that said, I would, I, I don't get to escape this consciousness. And if you don't take my help, there's nothing I can do about that. And this is just how I eat. This is how I live. And I feel like I will be qualified for that type of position. But I'm really not happy in saying the things that I said about the FDA. But it's undeniable that the market is flooded with these products. It's undeniable that, you know, people don't really know the difference. And 
So in that, I really don't feel like the FDA is going to protect our children's health. And so I'm trying to, but you have to apply it to your child's life and it just will do it because nature, nature doesn't lie. And now neither do I. Thank God for this moment. Thank you very much for taking this journey with me. This was my first try at this video. Now I'm just gonna post it. And I know if you're serious about what I'm doing, I know you'll be ready for the economy talk tomorrow. It's my birthday. My music's gonna fall offline. And I'm gonna give you my economy talk. And I don't know if you think, or what you think of me, but I possibly just have helped you in a very definitive way. And when I give you the economy talk, I feel like you'll understand it in a similar light. So, thank God for sharing conscious choice with human beings. And I will have a peaceful creation for myself and for you. I gotta get going. Peace and love to all of God's children, regardless of status, age, gender, geography, or personal detail, because we're all just human. I love you all. Bye for now.